My name is Brenda Senu, and I'm a writer, photojournalist, and also do printmaking. I just love the whole process of writing. I like the part where I have to go over my notes, I have to think about it, I have to synthesize what is the story, and then comes the hard work of actually writing the draft and revising it. And then when something's published and there's a picture with it, the story, it's exciting because you see your name and then you know that the story that you wrote and if it was a subject that had to do with people's lives, profiles, or community issues, which I like to write about, it makes me feel good that I've informed people about information and hopefully influenced them or inspired them. She really knows how to engage with people. That's really a strength of hers. Uh, she has a kind face, she's kind of small, and so people just uh, felt comfortable with her. I was living in Vietnam for six and a half years. And before I went to Vietnam, I had worked on uh, a memoir because our younger son, Tommy, at age 16, about 20 years ago, had died sudden death cardiac arrest here in Irvine. He was playing basketball and just had a heart attack. So I just wrote about my journey, my healing journey, and what that was like. And I was happy because that book has been uh, given to people to help them and one of the um, uh, essays I wrote about is at the school where he uh, died because we erected a friendship bench because my son was an artist and so we took some of his paintings and we put it on a concrete bench and silk screened his um, photos into a concrete walk tiles that are on the back of the bench and so that's right there in the walkway at the high school. And so we like the idea that students come and sit there. One of my other passions is textile and art. And so I've done felting, encaustic painting, um, monotype printmaking. And when I'm doing the art, it relaxes me because I'm using my hands. I'm creating things organically. Um, there's always a surprise. I was running into my room every five minutes with a new piece of art or encaustic to show me. Um, so she just is totally enthused and excited about her work with her art. So the art gives me a chance to use other creative sides to me. And I think it's, it's wonderful to be at my age, in my 60s, to be able to still grow and to be able to see how all these um, different disciplines mix like chemistry into a different kind of uh, wonderful pot of creativity.